Neil, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were, well, they were talking to pop superstar Pharrell Williams and Meghan said something which has caught your ear. Well, basically, morning, by the way, Ben and Sonia, yes. Now, what's interesting here is, as you know, members of the royal family, the rule is, you know, never complain, never explain, you know, and a lot of people have taken this on board. But sadly for Meghan, she does seem to make one faux pas after another. At the Lion King premiere, uh, the gorgeous pop star Pharrell Williams was sort of talking about, you know, how difficult the media are, all that sort of stuff. And here's exactly what Meghan replied. Take a look at this. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? When she's saying they don't make it easy, she's talking about the media. She is, but you see, I think, you know, in fairness, Ben, if it hadn't been on the back of the week that she'd had where she'd booted, allegedly, booted people out of Wimbledon for taking a picture, mm. and then previous week, you know, we weren't invited as such as a, as a new nation uh, to the uh, christening, I think, in a sense, you know, you would have thought by now she may just have smiled, do what the Queen does and think, I think we'll have fog by tea time. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I reckon we need to give her a break. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon people do. are doing to Megan what, what they did to Diana. I just oh. reckon she's being picked on in a major oh, way. Wow. Anyway. Well, Beyonce and Jay-Z are also being criticised for breaking royal protocol. What did they do? Well, I was at the royal premiere the other night, right? And, I mean, let, first of all, let's just say how gorgeous did Beyoncé look in that dress, that almost there dress. You know, it was, a, <laughs> it was a windy night, girls, let me tell you. Everybody was thinking, oh, no. Um, but um, what was interesting was, what happens at a royal premiere, once the, the royal party arrive, uh, then the, the performance can start. You know, nobody can arrive after the royal party. This is what happened to Beyonce. She and Jay-Z turned up um, after Meghan and Harry. And uh, some people are saying over here, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, actually, Ben. Some people are writing over here that uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z actually got a bigger cheer than Harry and Meghan. Now, what's interesting is, if this would have been Catherine and William, there would have been a big, big problem because royal protocol with the future king and queen of England would have been broken. But as Harry and Meghan are a little bit further down uh, the Richter scale, it's not too, bu not too bad. And also, um, I kind of got the feeling, when you look at the footage, that uh, Meghan couldn't quite believe she was meeting her pop favourite icon, you know, whereas I did kind of get the feeling that Beyonce uh, was sort of giving nice big eyes uh, to Harry. So I don't think she was that impressed. And also they hugged. Um, which is another royal no-no protocol. You're not supposed to touch the royal family. So it's, 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 I mean, there were a few things went wrong, but everybody loved the night. So does it really matter? Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah. She is the queen bee, after all. So she's, she is. She's, she's high up the chain. Pop royalty. Now, th there was an award given uh, to Harry and Meghan as well. What was all that about? Oh, gosh, I love this, don't you? You know you've really made it when you're an influencer, uh, somebody of power, which, of course, we already know they are. But as you know, uh, they launched, they split away from uh, William and Catherine and having that joint Instagram account. Now, 9.1 million people follow um, Harry and Meghan on their Instagram account, where we find out all those lovely, beautiful pictures of baby Archie and some of the arty things that I totally don't understand. But over in America, they've been, uh, they've been given this award basically saying they've got such influence they made it into the top 25 <laughs> of people uh, that apparently whenever you post, I'm sure this applies to you too, I'm sure when you <laughs> post things on Instagram, time must go, look, check out Ben and Sonia. Yes. The thing <laughs> is, if you've got power, <laughs> this is what happens and that's what's happened to Harry and Meghan. I think what's interesting as well though, again, it does seem, I, I, you've picked up a very good point there Ben, that it does seem that um, the media are picking against William and, and Catherine and Harry and Meghan by saying, oh, they're more popular or they're mm. more popular you know it doesn't really matter it's a joint collaboration they're a family you know that's what happens now the queen and megan have reportedly butted heads over the raising of baby archie neil what about that Oh, I love this story, Sonia. It's absolutely brilliant. It's along there with the copper bath and, and all of these things, you know, like um, it's almost Mariah Carey with the puppy story, you know. Now, what basically the story is here is that Meghan apparently wants to raise baby Archie as a vegan. Right. 
nothing wrong with that. But the Queen, as you know, as you could imagine, uh, is very much a, a person of tradition, likes traditional meals, and allegedly, according to this piece, is not very happy. There's no confirmation at all on this. I think like all new moms, I, um, I, and I'm told this, I don't know, obviously, but uh, that they like to go out and think, what is the best thing for my baby? Mm. You know, what, what can I give it to give it the best start? So I, I'm guessing that, you know, there's going to be lots of organic vegetables. We know Megan's, um, you know, partly vegetarian and mainly vegan. We know she's super fit and looks after herself because if, if you read her sort of on-site thing, the TIG, uh, I used to love reading those recipes and then go out and order a McDonald's, you know, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Bangers and mash, mate. That's what little Archie needs. Good on you. Thank you so much.